Hi, in this segment we're going to take a look at tritone substitutions and they work really well uh, to create some variety in the music that we're playing. So we're going to take a look at the different ways that we can create tritone substitutions to make your music a little more interesting. We're going to start in this case in the key of C. So here's the C major 7 chord first. Okay, there we have the C major 7 chord. And we're going to do a simple 2 5 1 progression with the C major 7 chord, the D minor 7 chord, and then to the G dominant 7 chord, and back to the 1 major 7 chord. We're going to continue to use our three note shell voicing that we've been looking at so far. So the roots in our left hand of the C chord, the third, and the seventh are here. Then we move to the two chord, the D, third, and seventh here. And then we move up to the five chord. The F now becomes our seven, and we move down to the B, which is our three. That gives us our dominant sound. And then back to C. Again, the B stays for our seventh, and we move the F down to E for our third. Okay, take a look into, take a listen to this uh, progression and see what you think. Right. Now, we've, we've taken a look at a progression like that in the past, but now we're going to give you an, an option to make some changes in that. And we call those tritone substitutions. And in this case, instead of playing, um, here's the C major, the D minor, instead of going to the dominant 5, G7, we're going to come to D flat. And we have D flat, F, and now we're going to call this note C flat instead of B so that it is the third and the seventh of the D flat chord or, or a flat two chord. So our right hand is really not going to do anything differently than we did earlier. C major, D minor, and then we were using the F and the B for the G dominant seven. Now we're using it for the flat two chord and then back to one. So let me make those changes on the recording and we'll take a listen to what that sounds like. All right, so you can see that just simply by changing to the flat two and using the same right hand pattern, the third and the seventh of the dominant chord, but now they switch roles. Now the top note is the third and the bottom note is, the, excuse me, the bottom note is the third, the top note is the seventh. We get a little bit of a different sound that makes it interesting. So experiment with that in all the keys. You don't want to use too many tritone substitutions or you know, people kind of know that they're coming. So use them sparingly, but, but uh, experiment with those and see what you think.